Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we're going to take a look at the DJI RCN1 controller that does not want to upgrade its firmware and this will also apply to any other controller or firmware issue that you might have. As you guys can see we've got the server uh, 2 minus 1 or 0 um, issue and you cannot get the firmware to refresh or load no matter what you do. So what you do is you go over to the DroneX website and you go to download page and you download the latest version of Tronax. Now this is incredibly simple and easy. You do not need to buy a license. You do not need to do anything besides have an account. So all you do is just download the application, create an account, and then you will be able to use the features of the application that are free to use. Now if you wanted to use the no oh the completed app to unlock the no-fly zones, the altitude limits, and enable FCC mode, please go to the bird map, and then you'll be able to see what drones are supported over there. But in this case, I only want to flash the firmware of my controller because it does not want to update, meaning that my old Mini 2 controller does not want to work with my Air 2S, and I want it to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just downloading the application, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to log in with my DroneX details. And as you can see over there, there's my device and my firmware is ancient. It is extremely old. So uh, it's so old, it doesn't even detect by a tank drone downloader. So what you do is you go to the firmware page. There's a, a page you can click the download link. Once you click on that link, it'll open up the Dank Drone Downloader website. If it doesn't open, just type into Google Dank Drone Downloader and it will then take you to the page where you are able to download the firmware accordingly. So once you've opened the Dank Drone Downloader web website, you just simply select EGI, the drone that you want to get the firmware for, but in this case it doesn't really matter, but the RCN1 gets used for so many drones that pick the one that you want, like for me the A2S, and you can see there the firmware version that my controller is on isn't one of them even. So I've downloaded the version that I wanted, so essentially I'm going to select the latest version, I'm going to click for the remote, I'm going to click submit, and I'll download that firmware version that I'm looking for. Now remember, my firmware version of my controller is like version 1 and I need version 4 so there's a massive difference in between so as you can see over there so there's no chance that my controller would ever support the A2S in this case I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to open the file there we go and then all you have to do is click flash firmware so remember when you use a DJI Fly app, it should automatically prompt you to update the firmware, but in some cases it seems these days there's some issues where the DJI Fly app does not prompt you to update the firmware. This is a way that you can get around it as well. So obviously there's an issue with the controller and the oldness of the firmware. So if you ever do get this, especially because people keep swapping the controllers a lot these days between um, the smart controller and then the RCN1 because the range is so much better on the RCN1. Uh, so a lot of guys that have the smart controller for the Mini 3, for example, would like to have the RCN1 as a backup if they need better range. And they get this error quite often, meaning that they cannot update the firmware, meaning the controller doesn't match or can't work with their drone. This way, you can update the firmware, you can fix whatever's wrong with it, and you can move on. So we're just going to wait for the firmware to finish quickly. As you can see, it's now just busy uh, flashing mm. firmware. There we go, it's done. And that's it. You can unplug it now and we're going to switch over to the uh, DJI Fly app quickly. Okay, I'm just going to quickly restart it to see if the firmware has refreshed. Just want to check that because I didn't check it earlier. Let me just show up. There we go. You can see the firmware has updated successfully and now we move on to the next phase. Okay, on the DJI Fly app, I'm just going to go straight to the connection guide and then click on camera view because I want to just check if the firmware version has updated again. Just one spring, just confirm with everything. As you can see, it has taken, it matches what DroneHack says, so everything is good with DJI. And now we can go to the connection guide, select the A2S, and let's see if we can connect. So basically, remember when you do connect it, it's going to try and find the aircraft, but if it's a completely different drone, you're going to have to repair it again. In this case, I'm just going to see if it can connect to my drone. Uh, if it can't, then obviously I'll just gonna have to repair it again. So here we go, just give it a second. It's probably going to ask me to repair again because it hasn't uh, found it yet. Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. So there we go. Just click on pair. And yep, there we go. It's probably going to pair in a couple of seconds. Should go quick. And done. And there we go. 